Good evening. Oh, that's a fantastic headband. Okay. Happy birthday, Wait, what did Tom. they say? What did they used to say? What I forget what they said when they were the like. Da 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 yeah, I heard it in uh, my head. Avi has something to say to you. Oh, oh hey, Avi. <laughs> Thank you. you I have so many ribbons for you, by the way, and I have super special ribbons for you. Oh my goodness, for Jordan. What? Con. For Jordan Con. Oh, that's right. She can't hear it. I've got. He's got. Oh, he's right, got right, ribbons. Right, right. He's got I ribbons got for special you. Special ribbons. She also has ribbons, but she requires you to do something to get the ribbon. All right. Well, I because she's like her mother. That's fine. <laughs> I will. I she can. I will perform for for her. Whatever she. Whatever she wants. Are you gonna? Is she gonna need like multiple badges or like? duct tape or something to hold all of the ribbons that she's going to acquire onto her. I assume I'll just be carrying, I'll just be walking <laughs> behind her holding them up. <laughs> is what I assume. It'll be practice for the wedding where I'm holding the train. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord. And sparkle well, spring in. Because we're in the process of moving our house to sell, I couldn't find a birthday hat, but this was all I could I find. So Better. It's pretty fantastic. Thank you. Thank I don't, you. Do I have any hats around here? I don't think I have any sitting next to me to wear a birthday hat. Though we did go to we did go out to eat tonight and they sung happy birthday to me. So that was that was Yay. fun. Was it embarrassing or just a standard like happy birthday to you? I, I don't take any kind of any positivity directed at me publicly very well. So like it's always embarrassing. He a lot. I'm sorry about that. Cute. It do. is very cute that he blushes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in fact, here you go. So uh, we had uh, some friends over on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. And they took a picture of me while they were singing happy birthday. So this was my, this was, I couldn't stare at them. And <laughs> that was my cake that my lovely wife made for me. Hold on, let me get a better oh, picture. It's the opposite. It's so good. It's the opposite cake. It was pretty, it was pretty delicious. She made uh, everything like the the like like she didn't use a box cake. She made the cake batter and the and the icing, and she made custard to go inside because I love custard. Ooh, and, and it was such a good errand. Yeah, it was all very delicious. <laughs> she had sent uh, me a picture of it. It is. Oh, she's bringing fabulous. me a birthday. She's bringing me a birthday hat. I'll see you. It's, it's my it's my birthday crown. I love it. With my dragon crown that I usually wear at Jordan Con it has the serpent in its own tail on there. Ah, uh, anyway. Well, you don't want to oh. hang out with me too much on your birthday because I love to embarrass people. We took my <laughs> husband to, uh, what is it called? One of the steakhouses where they make you literally get up on a saddle oh, while they yeah, yell oh, no. to the restaurant oh, and sing to you. I, I'm well, with no, he hated I me. Walk out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. There's no I think way. That's just I would do that. I don't care. I like being silly. I just don't like, I'll get up. I'll be silly all day. It's just like when people like wish me happy birthday or give me compliments or sing happy birthday to me. Like it's, I'm like, thank you. All right. I'm done. I'm like, oh. I hate opening presents in front of people too. Like it's yeah, like, I'm always like, I, I enjoy opening presents in front of people. So I will take, I will take all gifts. Firm. I always. <laughs> I, like, dude, I freaking I I didn't even know I didn't have stage fright until I started doing like panels and stuff at Jordan Con and and other events, and like no problem being on stage in front of like at DreamHack. We did a panel and it was like two hundred and something people. No problem. I didn't even care. Did not not a single issue. But sitting in a room with three people who I'm dear friends with, and one of them is my wife. And they're singing happy birthday and I want to die inside. That's because that is direct attention. You know, in that room full of 200 people, even though they're looking at you, you don't have to give them direct attention. I'm That's a horrible true. stage fright. Nobody believes it. They don't believe I'm introverted either. And I'm like, that means I like you. That's all that means is that I'm myself around you. Oh, that's fair. Around everybody else. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't. I don't trust that you'll like what's going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. So, right. so Tom, me, I, I love you so much. Oh my god! Um, I love you. And I'm sorry that you don't like, you know, <laughs> I do not like it. I just get they embarrassed. can embarrass you. Um, but I just wanted to play a little something that I got uh, with the help of your lovely and beautiful wife. So, oh hold man, on just a second.
<laughs> pretty fantastic. <laughs> oh man, wow. Uh that was awesome. Thank you. Well, I won't sing to you, but happy birthday. Thank you. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> Lucky I have, to have you, Tom. Thank you, Aaron. That was, I guess, uh, the, the Facebook is is stealing my pictures again and making little things. Yeah, little Toms. Those were that that was high school me. Uh, I had to shave my beard for surgery, and I, I was like, I made, I was like, I'm gonna do something fun. So I did the Fu Manchu while I was shaving it. Ah, uh, that was fun. All right, thank you. Sorry. Well, uh, let's get the, let's get the attention off me, and by doing that, I mean I will bring in our guests, maybe. I think we have two of them this time. Yep. One of them is someone who's been here before, but I can't resist not bringing them back because uh, nepotism. Like, you know, you you do, you help your child out. And, you know, my child and I might have a weird relationship. <laughs> point this image. But uh, uh, I love them very much. And I like having them around. So we're going to bring them on in a minute when they come back because we can see them and they're not there yet. There they are. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Hold on. Let me find my fun little thing that I made. Where is it? There it is. Look, here comes an awesome guest. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> You're muted. You're muted. You. You're muted. I'm not <laughs> muted. Uh, okay. <laughs> they they started with food squat early. I'm getting, <laughs> this is I'm Tito. Tito is hanging out with me tonight. Oh my god, Tito's my boyfriend. That's crazy. Yes. <laughs> so yes, obviously we have our fantastic and wonderful uh, uh, wrist harp, but also. We have a super special guest, uh, uh, Alesa over here. Down <laughs> Hello. I got to tell you, I got to tell you a little bit. So you're kind of part of the reason why we're doing Avatar right now. So you are. So I, I made a image uh, before we did this when we were when I was like trying to get people. So what we usually do is before we finish our last show, we put four choices out for people to vote on. And I was very weighted toward Avatar and wanted them to pick it. So I made an <laughs> uh, image for it. You may recognize some of the stuff from this image. So it's like, do you want to watch a show that has? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, <laughs> I I. <laughs> all that the I gave is you all the incredible. Don't worry. When, yeah, when I hear it. Yep. But I need to show people where this came from. Hold on a second. I want to watch a show where the martial arts in it is completely accurate and based on real fighting styles. <laughs> it's, it's Avatar The Last Airbender, buddy. Okay, what about a really amazing high quality show that doesn't go on for a million seasons? Avatar The Last Airbender has three seasons, so you can watch it really quickly. It has everything in three seasons? It absolutely does. Okay, what about a show where the villain has a change of heart and he kind of has to awkwardly join the main group at some point? That would still be Avatar The Last Airbender. That's like my favorite trope. It's the best trope. We haven't gotten one this good since Dragon Ball Z. What about a show that even the side characters are memorable and beloved? There's a lot of those in Avatar The Last Airbender. What about a show with just the most gorgeous score you've ever heard? You want to take a wild guess what show I'm going to say? There is absolutely no way. Okay, you know what? What about a show with a super hot goth dummy mommy with a whip? How about that? You are not going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the facts are the facts. It's true. <laughs> right. uh, I, and I have your your stuff and uh, Reese's stuff linked in the description of the video. So go and ch and subscribe and like. Thank and that was so that much. was one of your you you made like a like a series of TikToks about that. And yes. the version of you that didn't see it was very surprised at all of the different things that happens in Avatar. <laughs> but it's all <laughs> yeah. There's actually I want to do that series again, but with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood because it's another one of those shows that just has everything oh so God. it's the holy trinity of mega mind avatar and full metal alchemist brotherhood <laughs> now i gotta get see i gotta get my wife to watch full metal alchemist with me i haven't watched that since i was in like high school i am due for a rewatch like that is my favorite anime in the entire world no other anime has ever come close to it for me maybe demon slayer might be the only one that's kind of like in the general zip code of it but in terms of like better 
there I just don't think there ever will be a better one than Brotherhood. I really no. don't. I fully support that statement. Oh man, but thank you for coming. This is so much fun. I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun, except for the fact that I can't get on the Discord. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's 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 <laughs> okay. I don't know. Discord is silly. I wish I didn't have to use it, but social media is a thing for no, us. No, I totally get it. As a thespian of the internet myself, I get it. <laughs> Um, but since that gives me perfect timing, I will, uh, I'm going to, as I usually do, and I guess you're going to have to do it now too. Uh, so usually what I do is we have our watch parties that we do, you know, Netflix does one and, uh, what's the other one that did it? Uh, oh, Disney Amazon. Plus does one. Disney Amazon Amazon does does one. I mean, Netflix doesn't do it. Amazon and, and Disney plus do it. <laughs> and by the way, Disney Plus's watch party That's feature right. is terrible. It's is not terrible. right. It kept so telling me often, I wasn't connected to the internet when I was literally on the internet. And and they would also tell us this video is not available in your region. I'm like, bitch, we live in the same country. Like, what is this? <laughs> this watch party is brought to you by NordVPN. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, Netflix does not do that shit because they want all the money. No watch parties for anybody, apparently. Yeah, between Netflix and Hulu, both charging like 25 bucks each. I'm like, all right, settle down. What are we doing? Yeah, I can't wait for <laughs> so them to get with it. They're going on here. Well, they're getting rid of it soon and just putting it into Disney Plus. Hopefully, they don't like up the price of that by a million dollars, but we'll see. I mean, they uh, find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was telling a story about Dragon Ball Z recently. I wa I used to I watched that um, back in the day. There was a card shop in my town where like the owner's son was super into anime, but this was like pre tsunami, pre everything. He used to get VHSs shipped from Japan recorded off Japanese television with the commercials and everything. And like, it was in a little cart. It was called Willie Mickey and the Duke, like the baseball players. Right. But like they did like magic cards too. So like we would go there and rent, like they would have like six episodes on one VHS and we would like rent the tape and watch it all subtitled with all of the gore and nudity that's on the Japanese stuff. <laughs> Let's go. No <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Kai here. We're exactly. just getting it straight from the tap in Japan. It's going to be oh, awesome. Yeah. The, my favorite commercials, though, were the Pokey commercials, the little chocolate sticks that they have over there. Oh, Pocky? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the commercials for those, if you look up like 1990s Pocky commercials from Japan, they're unhinged, like unhinged <laughs> insanity. They those. were in 2030 when it was like the 1990s. <laughs> True story. Um, uh, but yeah, so I need to turn on my 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 uh, little timer that I usually I have on here. So it's going to take me a second. But uh, one question. So Dragon Mount is a website that was founded for a book series called The Wheel of Time. Have you ever heard of it or read it? Isn't Wheel of Time, it recently got an Amazon Prime like adaptation, right? That's exactly. the extent of my knowledge. <laughs> okay. Well, if you do enjoy fantasy, like epics, like deep fantasy, like, like uh, not like, it's not, it doesn't have a lot of surface level. It's got like a lot of deep story and it's very long. Oh no, yeah, the camera's gonna follow me. Yeah, it's, it <laughs> it's 14 books long. Those are the books that are behind me. But that, it's very that's, good well, well, that's just the main series. There's some extra stuff on the yeah. side. <laughs> that's it's like there's supplemental material, actually. There is. <laughs> there, absolutely. It. Yeah, yeah, there's a prequel and three companions. Oh, Jesus. Okay, because <laughs> I am too impatient for Dune 3. I've never read any of the of the books or anything. So I'm like, I'm just going to read Dune. And then someone was like, yeah, there's 17 books after the main six. And I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> I, will say, okay. I will say my um, oldest child is very into Dune. And she's like, yeah, you really don't have to read anything after. And she said the second or the third. She's like, don't worry about the rest. <laughs> so, I only have like the main one. I have like the, a comically small copy of like <laughs> Dune. Wow. But it's like, <laughs> it's wider than it is tall. <laughs> Yeah, that's, um, that's ooh, what you're ASMR. talking about with Wheel of Time. Is is that that's what oh, you're talking like? That's a, that was nice. That was nice. That was that's nice. what like an average Wheel of Time. Wolf right there. Yeah. <laughs> this is the mini series of Wheel of Time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the the uh, um, I mean, I'm a bad nerd. I have I've only read the first book of the Dune series, so I'm a bad nerd. Well, I, I haven't read any of them, so I'm a nerd that's going to jail. Uh oh. <laughs> I I picked one thing and hyper focused on it. And then name my kid after a character. And 
<laughs> this is my son, Duncan Idaho. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, she, she was in here earlier. It was Avi- Her name is Avienda, which is a beautiful uh, name. And everybody was just such, such a beautiful name. I'm like, that's because a professional writer came up with it. I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> then there's like this one dune person like what's your name that's crazy I, i'm actually a big fan <laughs> and this is my son say, the stampede, yeah. well, the stampede. Also, <laughs> yeah. it's a good way to weed out people i want to be friends with like if they True. recognize their name i'm like we can talk <laughs> we we but well, we started this rewatch series doing the the we did season one of wheel of time from amazon Mm -hmm. to prep for season two and then people were like oh do more shows and we were like all right we'll do more shows (laughs) hold my beer (laughs) yeah (laughs) what more content that i that get to like basically do stuff that i've already seen and then we just get to talk about it that's literally how i got popular on tiktok where i just did one tiktok about the concept of the playboy mansion and then all the millennials were like do all the other weird things we grew up with and i was like bet and i milked that for about 40 videos (laughs) and then i was like oh no are the people gonna love me when i pivot and they actually did which is really nice and now we're all here together isn't that great (laughs) and also by the way congratulations crossing six hundred thousand followers thank you so much not you being vested in my Lore. That's crazy. <laughs> I like that. Well, Tom, I mean, Tom is like, a great friend to have. It's true. It's, I mean, I try. Listen, I know I'm Tom's a great kidding. friend. He was like the maid of honor at my wedding, actually. It was great. <laughs> I mean, I do look great in, I, I'm like, n- no lie, I do look pretty good in a dress. Like, I will say, like, I don't have I mean, a lot of. I look pretty good in a If you'd like to see the evidence, <laughs> you've got to tell the story about Reese being your child. Oh, right. Uh, oh, yeah. so, <laughs> In Wheel of Time, person. I don't know your lore, guys. <laughs> there's like a magic thing that you could do in Wheel of Time where two people who care about each other can become first sisters. Mm-hmm. And it's a it's a it's a very uh personal, deep ceremony. It involves a lot of stuff, including slapping the other person in the face as hard as you possibly can, uh, which they did, and also took <laughs> like a freaking champ, I will say, Reese. I um, honestly yes. didn't. I honestly didn't think Rain had it in her. To be honest. I was like, it's always the quiet ones. Yeah, I was like, that's. that's you were stunned. Like when 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 she hit you, you were stunned for like you not like you were stunned like you were like Ugh, but like you were like well, taking yeah. aback. Taking she made aback. my she made my ears ring. Which all right, Fight Club. Know, if you know anything <laughs> about me and how my ears don't function. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that is valid. Reese is hard of hearing, by the way. I'm learning a lot today. Yes. Nothing, <laughs> nothing um, useful, I hope. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna switch my camera over now so that I could do the uh the thing. So I'm gonna go away for a second. Okay. Oh god, he's gone. Oh I'm just god. kidding. Reese, while well, Tom is gone, you wanna tell us what you've been up to? Of course, as I ask when you're drinking water. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> what have I been up to? Uh, yeah, been fencing, up to? fencing, and get ready for Jordan Con. Whoa! Yeah. And um, we'll be there. And be at Jordan Con. I've been tonight. I rehearsed a dance routine, which I'm not a dancer, so it's been fun. Um, <laughs> a little, a little burlesque act that we're hoping Ooh. to get into some conventions maybe some festivals oh, based on fun. based on good omens which is <gasps> fun oh i love good omens so much and that, that's what we were watching when the strike happened so we had to stop watching it and we yep. the wheel of time. <laughs> oh no hold on i'm like yeah re-alphabetizing oh. my mic do i sound okay hello you did you, you sound okay and you've been doing so, Reese. You also do a little bit of art. There we go. Ah, He's back. It works. Look, ah. there's a steamer. I did it. I'm so good at this. I'm so proud well, of you. We were talking. We were Thank talking you. to Reese about what they've been up to lately. Oh, I heard a burlesque show. I you did yeah. that at Dragon Con. You did a bur- not that say, show, but you did I a think, burlesque I, show at Dragon Con, I was right? Say, I feel like yeah. that was sitting for a little what, bit. What, what like. was the what was the theme for that one? I don't remember. I think there was a jump rope involved. No, I haven't done I haven't done any jump rope burlesque at Dragon Con yet. Oh. But last year with the same partner, Tallula Love, look her up. She's an incredible performer out of Atlanta. Um 
last year we did our flag means death. We did Steed and um, Blackbeard, like little. That's wonderful. Let's, let's put each other's clothes on each other moment. Oh. And this year we're hoping to do a little Crowley and uh, <laughs> sweet little baby angel man. Well, Is, wait, are, are they coming to Jordan Con? Uh, not officially. They might drop by, but okay, that would be fun. Anyway, maybe we can. Uh, I have some ins at some other Atlanta cons. If you want to try to get it in at a con, let me know, and I can. <laughs> I can do some stuff. <laughs> I not Tom with the plug right now. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I know the person that does the programming at Dragon Con again too this year, or the Ooh. last two years, and I think this coming year. So. If you want, I could, I might be able to hook it up there too. Let me know. Again, like I said, um, nepotism for my child. Always. <laughs> I mean, that, that is what Tallulah. you're supposed to do. Hello, Tallulah. Oh, yeah. Tallulah's in the chat. This is, yeah, my, yeah. This is my partner. They are a fantastic dancer. Don't look Hello. Look, look, look. My child takes compliments just as good as I do. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> just, <laughs> Shut the, the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> accurate, accurate, accurate. Um, so yes, like usual, I'm gonna give you all some time to queue up your episodes. I got the timer going on the side of ah, I pointed to the right side this time. It's over there, it'll pop up when the when the show is playing. Um, so go ahead and queue the episode up. We're on episode 13, City Walls and Secrets, and Let's then we're going go. into episode 14 and have a nice no. cry. Wait, so if I play Are you yeah, gonna cry? On. Okay, Not Reese, you crying. know that Crystal hasn't seen this yet, right? This is her first time. <laughs> this is probably only my second time, and I don't remember it. Okay. So I've I don't, I don't want anybody to spoil this at all. I've, I've, I've seen I was like a million times. I'm like, let's yeah. go. <laughs> this is my this is my feel like w when I'm in a bad mood or depressed, I put Avatar on in like the background of whatever I'm doing. Pretty much, I've yeah, it a lot. Also, I have a question before we start. If I play it on the Netflix on my end, is it going to like, are you guys going to hear so, it on my end? We will mute it and turn your captions on. Okay. That's yeah. what I imagined <laughs> was going to be the move. So, all right. That's we're what good. I usually do, yeah. The, uh, um, whatchamacallit, but uh, if it comes out of your speakers, yeah, but if it goes into your headphones, no. I think it'll go in my headphones. We'll find out together yeah, in like a few minutes. So. <laughs> it'll be a learning experience. I mean, at least I won't be the one making uh, tech faux pas like I always am. It'll be somebody oh, else. Stop it. <sighs> this is my hazing ceremony, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It absolutely is. It's like we need to humiliate WTF Elisa. So <laughs> she can... oh, She's too uh, talented. We need to knock her down a few pegs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I, well, I need to I need to put you on on screen for a second because also you sent me when you sent me the email about being uh, uh, when I sent you the the link and stuff for this week you showed me uh, a fun little tidbit of information from an awesome clothing apparel website yes. that was kind oh enough to God. send us uh, 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 a code but let me show I want to show your awesome shirt let's see your shirt. Look at that. It's uh, my first girlfriend turned into the moon. It's a baby tee. She's a gorgeous little crop. How Look cute. At that. Look Very at that. Cute. We got this one. And then for the partner in your life, you can also get the That's Rough Buddy one. And you can wear it at the same time. It'll be like super romantic. So Grimlatch was so nice enough to send me like the two shirts. And they also sent a promo code for everybody. So you get 10% off of Avatar merch. And I figured... I'm going on an Avatar podcast. <laughs> the math is mathing. So thank you to Grimlatch for the love and for the promo code. And get yourself some really cool shirts, team. Look at that. <laughs> they, <laughs> they also I had. Want, uh, um, I just I just want the the that's rough buddy with no context. I, it's the yeah. best. It's so good. That's what it is. <laughs> That's it. Just says that's rough, buddy. That's all that's it, it says. Black tea with that, that's a, that. yeah. Black tea, red letters. That's rough, buddy. No Perfect. context, no nuance. Perfect. Just that's it. Same thing with this. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. How would I, I'm pretty sure some crystal girlies would be like, "That's really deep. That's amazing." It's like, no, it's from Avatar, actually. But like, also, <laughs> <laughs> but also really deep and amazing. 
It's like, I have a crystal for that, actually. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. That's uh, hilariously accurate, I feel like. <laughs> Very much you wear the shirt in L.A. It's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Is that, oh, is that where you're at, L.A.? No, I'm in Miami, baby. 305 till I die. <laughs> I'm I'm in I'm in Tampa, actually. Yes, We're neighbors. Yes. That's I know, crazy. Right? I'm on my way. I'm just kidding. Oh no! <laughs> we I'm go to Disney all the time. Right so now. if you ever want to go to Disney, you let it, you let me know. I could be I I know that place backwards and forwards because I don't we don't like do my wife and I like when we, we don't go out like when we were like what are we gonna do on Friday? Go to Epcot and get drunk. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> We're going to see it's a small world, actually. Yeah. Um, that's the move. <laughs> over and over and over. No. Anyway, but yeah, so. <laughs> Fun. I'll hit you up, bro. I'll be like, yo, Tom, pull up. Yes. I, I, I got a Disney been... guy. <laughs> I have so many Disney adult friends that like, if I, whenever I go to Disney, I'm a Virgo rising, okay? Meaning I have control issues. But at <laughs> Disney, I'm literally like, somebody else handle this because I cannot do this. Like, I... <laughs> I'm not like a Disney adult, but like my friends will usually take me at gunpoint to Disney. So I'm like, well, I guess that's what I'm doing today. I'm literally going in a couple of weeks because it's my friend's birthday. And she's like, we're going to Epcot and we're going to wake up at like 6 a.m. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you got to wake up early if you're going to drink your way around the world. So. True story. Listen, I'm a lightweight. So by the second country, I'm like, hey, team, I think I need to lie down. I weigh 50 pounds soaking wet. I cannot do this. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get see see I have I have paths. It depends it depends on if we start with Mexico. Like if we if go to Mexico, start with Mexico, you're out of your mind. You, well, no, no, no. We start with, I like to start with France because then I get to have my like very light lemon citron, which is like vodka and champagne in a in a lemon slushy, and it's delicious. Wow. I'm Good usually a Canada girl myself. I'll start at Canada, like, all right, we're just gonna get progressively blackout drunk. <laughs> Get a get a, get some uh wait, what's it called? That horrible food that they eat there. Uh, uh, poutine. poutine? poutine. You don't yeah. like poutine? I'm not you also poutine. hate fun and joy and love and happiness. Like that's gonna be that, it I've looks like somebody poutine. already had it. I have had <laughs> that from people. That's the problem with poutine. It looks like somebody already had it. It looked like someone already picked at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah. Valid. No, I, I, I don't know. I, it's, it's something about like soggy wet. Maybe I haven't had good poutine. Like I don't know. Yeah, maybe go to Canada. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Have I've only Leslie been bring time. you some, Tom. What? Have Leslie. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Leslie got to bring Canada. some. Like, tons. She probably would too. She probably just makes. She would. Some. She would I feel absolutely. like all Canadians probably can make that just at a drop of a hat. Or we yeah, could tap them for maple syrup. That's a thing, right? That's how we get. That's how we get maple syrup, right? You tap Canadians. As far as I know, yes. So when a Canadian and a maple tree really love each other. What do you buy? What the fuck are they say? Um, all right. So I'm going to press play on this episode. All and right, we, team. We can hop in. We're not going to skip. We're not skipping the recap. We're not skipping the the uh, opening title. So make sure to leave those if you're following along. No edits the way God intended. Exactly. Correct. <laughs> Biblically accurate Avatar The Last Airbender stream. <laughs> <laughs> and and D and and D and D the uh, the guys that run uh, Avatar. Shout out to my boys. Oh, that was another thing that we did uh, while we were while the uh, opening credits are playing. Uh, my wife, we, we backed the Avatar, the role playing game, the tabletop role playing game on Kickstarter, and we played it. We got it, but we just played it for the first time on Sunday. Oh, I, I was an oh. open. We we because we played during the Ang time, so I couldn't be an Airbender, which is what I usually am. So, damn, <laughs> yeah. it was fun though. It's it's interesting. It doesn't have combat like D anD D. Like if you've ever played any regular like like Pathfinder or D anD D or Fate or any of those, it doesn't have combat like those types of games. Like there's not hit points. There's not uh, uh, death like that because you're usually not fighting people to kill them especially in avatar like like so so right. death it, when it describes like to the dm how to run things it's like death happens very rarely and like it's so avatar the last airbender like cowards 
<laughs> yeah. It's very, 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 uh, uh, I don't know how to, it's very Avatar. Like if you read it, you're like, oh, this is definitely an Avatar last time in her game. Y'all ever um, seen that YouTube video that was like, when you're not allowed to say the word died? And it's just like all the ways that they've like done laps oh, yeah. to not say that somebody died. And it's Unalive. like, I was just gone. It's like, and you died. You fully died. Like, <laughs> mm. Oh, okay. There we go. It's on. Yay. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. We were in Ba Sing Se. Yes, we were in Ba Sing Se for a festival. That's what we were doing. Wow. Has, has the eclipse happened yet or not? Yeah. No, no. Today was the day of Black Sun in our world, but not the day yeah. in Avatar. Okay. I felt particularly powerful today, so that explains <laughs> it. I couldn't even see the eclipse because it was really cloudy in Miami. I was like, dang, flab it. <laughs> This is, uh, oh yeah, yeah. What was it like, sixty percent or something for Florida? I, I think remember. we. First of all, I live in Miami. D don't don't do I'm that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like at least you live in Florida. I live in Miami, which is Florida's Vatican City. Actually, don't get it <laughs> twisted. Yeah, it was like super cloudy, and it wasn't a full eclipse either. So it's yeah. like I didn't see it. I'm like, yeah, it got dim, and my cat was like, ah. and that was pretty much it. <laughs> great impersonation of your cat yeah. <laughs> like I was there it's crazy. I try, I try. <laughs> are, are you Multiple counting hours. us down to press play or like what's the oh, oh no we... press play press play yeah yeah no we're yeah we're go sorry 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 I, I did press play like right uh -huh. okay, what's, what's the timestamp oh god oh it's 21 on 35 21 21 35 34 yep. 33 32 31 they oh, just got off the train wait 21 and we're meeting Judy for the first time. Crystal, my girl. normally silent because she's she's waiting to start crying. You got time, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Not going to cry. I put it on the screen. Not going to cry. Yeah. Also, yeah. will we find Appa before we break for Jordan Con? Not going to no. let this go. Do we find no. Appa next week? Because if not, we're fucking rolling the show. Uh, the day next we week. get back from Jordan Con. <laughs> Yes, next week you will we we will have the, the next week the first episode is Lapa's uh, uh Lapa. Appa's Lapa. 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 Sorry, there was my Okay. Okay. Only the Lapa's second Lapa's most Lapa's. devastating Avatar episode besides the one we're going to watch next. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah, no, Chris was very upset with us. It's literally two episodes in a row of just pure gut-wrenching heart. What? Oh it's like God. if you want to speed run a knife to the chest, <laughs> just <laughs> Okay, uh, wait, just oh, to double check, watching? what's the timestamp? <laughs> 2025, 2024, 2025. Yeah, they're, 2025. They're they in the carriage riding through Ba Sing Se. Okay, I'm going to put, all right. You can see the timestamp if you look at Tom's camera on the bottom right. Oh, wow, that is brilliant. But it's going backwards. I'm very confused. <laughs> yeah, Netflix. It's it Netflix. counts down. Yeah, Netflix counts down. Doesn't count up. Okay, so wait, we're looking hold on. at we're, 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 we're we're 44 seconds into the episode. Yeah, you are you're where in the episode? F uh, four minutes and 53 seconds into the episode. Oh, that life happens sense, wherever I... you are. Yes, Iroh and Zuko are talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, I this found is a new job. So we start this afternoon. Is that yeah. where? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Cool, 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 Yeah. This is, oh, and oh, this is, oh, they, these are such good episodes for, for, um, uh, uh, Iroh and Zuko, too. They, they, they uh, play like, they're very like C, um, plot on these episodes, but the, the little bit of scenes that we get from them in Bossing Say are fantastic. But even the filler in Avatar Last Airbender is See, integral I, to the story. Oh, absolutely. That's what I said last week, like, even the filler episodes are like, is it really filler? <laughs> no. Like, it's just such a masterclass in storytelling where the dialogue is so indicative of the character development and everything. So it's like, mm -hmm. even them being like, let's open a tea shop. Like, their interactions during that entire thing is like, oh, we're seeing development here. And honestly, shout out to everybody that wrote <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender for real. Oh, oh the, there's the my favorite menace to society, Toph Beifong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Top! Oh my God, she's my favorite. Top is my favorite character in this entire series. Next Same. to Momo. Next to Momo. Momo is is up there, but 
for me, it's definitely Toph and Iroh and Zuko, which might be boring answers, but they're the correct answer. No. Yeah, they're the only answer. I mean, uh, Zuko is, so, I guess, best best character arc ever. Absolutely. The, and like you said in your in your TikTok, probably the, the best. Well, I, I embellished a little bit. I mean, you did say it has the, the villain turned uh, good person trope, but it's probably the best mm -hmm. one ever done. Like, probably ever, yeah. In all everything like because there's no like cheesy parts he he really goes through like some deep growth like it, oh, it's so great they really put him through the ringer in the beginning like hey man you tried to kill us multiple times <laughs> like yeah. ah! and they don't forget it <laughs> like even <laughs> afterwards they're like remember though <laughs> it's like hey remember that one time <laughs> <laughs> oh judy god bless her <laughs> oh god <laughs> there is no war in ba sing se <laughs> Just so like there's I no M. Night like, Shyamalan movie. Sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. I feel like that this is how they expect us to act at work when we get new hires. <laughs> like, it's not oh my God. up in here. <laughs> like, everything's great. Oh my God. Have you guys ever seen the Game Changers skit of good cop, comrade cop? And it's like, hey, yeah. brought you a little soda, a little snack, or whatever. And then, like, Brennan's like, don't tell these guys anything. I'm only here for the intel. <laughs> Right. That's literally, it's like the first day on the job versus you've been here for a while. Yeah. That's the vibe. I freaking love Game Changer. Brennan Lee Mulligan is like, I want to just live just like on the wall and listen to everything he says. Like, I want to be on Game Changers so bad. So bad. So bad. <laughs> so bad. I literally, I don't know if you guys saw it because I don't assume that everyone has seen all of my TikToks. That's unrealistic. I did one doing my own version of the Inigo Montoya, but like in different <laughs> directions. Yeah, And I just did my own spin on it. And then my followers love and hate me. And they tagged Mandy Patinkin a bunch of times and he saw it. And I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and now no one can tell me shit. It's like, hi, my name is Elisa. Mandy Patinkin positively acknowledged me once. <laughs> I put that on all the job apps now. Um, special skills. Oh, yeah. Mandy Patinkin likes me. Patinkin, yep. <laughs> I mean, that is, I, I would hire you because of that, solely because of that. Thank you so much. Not my master's degree? Okay, cool. Just making no. sure. No, no that's, <laughs> this is 2024. That doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm looking at my master's degree right now. Yes, silly goose. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what is it, though? My master's? Yeah. Oh, so I have my BA in communication arts and my master's in mass communication uh, global strategic communication. So I am technically using it to be a full-time clown on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's fun being the most educated person in my entire bloodline and just like dropping that in on occasion. I'm like, you can't tell me anything, mom. I outrank you. <laughs> you have hey, no power I here. I do that with my age. Like my husband's two years younger than me. Like he's got his PhD, but I'm like, I was on the planet first. I don't care that you understand it better than me. Like, <laughs> I was here, here before the internet, actually. Wait a like, minute, wait a minute. <laughs> he doesn't he have isn't he a physicist? He is a physicist. So he understands wow, that all nerd. The, we we <laughs> watched the three body problem because he read it and I made the mistake of asking about higher dimensions. I had a headache when he was done. I was like, I oh, don't no. know. I've never heard these words in this order before. I just bought a copy of the three body problem, actually. He loves it. He absolutely loves it. I'm assuming um, that's he, a hard science book, right? Like it's like so it's I think it's just the concepts in it, but I will say he is very particular about the science that they use. They need to stay within the rules they've made. Like if they right. don't stay, like he likes Bill of Time because they stay within the rules they made for the most part. Um, but I the episode we were on, I was like, could they could could that really happen? And then it was just a long dissertation. And I was like, I asked the wrong question. It was, it was like 10 o'clock at night. Take it back. Already, take it back. You opened Pandora's box. I like, had oh. already taken my sleep in medicine. I was like, oh, God, I'm not. It's like, I have made a tactical right error team. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, abort. Abort. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's, but I, his, his eyes light up and he's really excited to talk about it. So I'll sit and listen, but I'm like, I don't, I don't know those words. So For some reason, I love the shot of Iroh in an apron. I don't know why. It's just fantastic. Because <laughs> it, it gives you retired old man doing what he loves vibe. It does. That's it does. why. <laughs> Such a vibe.
I remember when I found out that Uncle Iroh and Aku from Samurai Jack are the same person. I was like, yes. what? I know. <laughs> Two diametrically opposite characters, for real. <laughs> Mako is oh, she's amazing. His pet bear. It's, it's the thing where he talks about his pet bear and they're going, platypus oh, yeah, bear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just skunk his bear. bear. Nope, just a bear. Skunk bear? Bear. Armadillo bear. Armadillo bear. bear. <laughs> no, bear? just a bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> this place is weird. <laughs> Which is just, it's so hilarious that they even, the fact that they even acknowledge that they have all these different combos of animals, that one that's not a combo would stand out, like. That's true. Not, not quite breaking the fourth wall, but <laughs> close. Which like is another testament to the writing. Right. Right. <laughs> well, Mako did, was he in The Last Dragon, Mako? I can't. I would have to see The Last picture. Dragon? Yeah, yeah. Leroy Green, Shogun. Show enough! The Shogun of Harlem, you know. Do you know? Wait a minute. Do you, have you seen The Last Dragon? She's younger, Tom. Uh, I am 29. Him. Okay. Well, not that you're much. Younger. You're younger. <laughs> younger. Okay. You'll be your mom. It's an 80, your mom. An kung Fu movie that takes place in Harlem, and it's hilarious. You should see it. Yeah. You should I'm see watching it. Bruce immediately. Leroy. Yeah. The Last Dragon, it is a classic. Yeah. It's uh, Close it's three, we're watching The Last Dragon. No, I'm <laughs> I just forget. I mean, hell, I I'd watch that movie every time it came on TV. Absolutely, I'm down. So the the, uh, the I wanted to say one thing about the um about Zuko and Iroh specifically when they were just mm -hmm. on screen a second ago, and it's going to come back to me in a second. Oh, uh, I the one thing I love what they that they do with them, especially with the Fire Nation, like like Ang specifically says it a couple of times, but like. How it's like, yes, we're at war with the Fire Nation, but we're not at war with everyone in the Fire Nation. Not all people in the Fire Nation are bad. Like, I love that lesson that they taught an entire generation of people. <laughs> they established that more in the comics where, because they, they talk about how there was a lot of Fire Nation settlements in the Earth Kingdom. So there's a lot of people who have like a Firebender mother and an Earthbender dad. And like, that's like that blend where it's like, oh, maybe not all Firebenders are bad. And like, Oh, it's just such a good show, dude. <laughs> like, good that, that's why I married Brian to show my people that not all white people are bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to Brian. Everybody give some love to Brian in the chat. <laughs> oh, they, they all they all know Brian at this point. <laughs> it's true. There's a convention that we go to every year where most of us actually met each other called Jordan Con. It's themed for the yeah. real time, but it's a science fiction fantasy book convention. And I'm down. And I drag my husband along. He yeah. hasn't read the books though. He did read As the books because should. I was well, I was so obsessed. He was like, I think I should probably see what this is because you're spending a lot of time on it. Yeah, it's like, let's see what he's talking about. This is crazy. It just tastes and, like hot beef juice. I can't believe someone in my family would say something so horrible. Horrible. <laughs> horrible. Tea is delicious. Wait, hold on. Are you guys ahead of me or behind me? No, 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 no. That was just me being silly. He didn't say that yet. Okay. I was like. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just, I was just being silly. He, uh, um, I, Zuko is serving tea right now in the shop and Jet is currently attacking the shop. But like, yeah, Jet just walked in. And he's like, ah! yeah, if you yeah. could like, just think about Zuko in the, in like episode one, episode two, Zuko. And now Zuko is wearing an apron serving tea to mm -hmm. Earth Kingdom, uh, like for like the regular common people. Like, yeah. that's such a huge. Huge growth right, he, arc for Zuko. <laughs> he was the prince of the Fire Nation. This dude has never done retail in his life. He's never yes. done any form of work. If, if also, someone suggested he did this, he would probably kill them. Like, like in that in that right. first couple episodes. <laughs> and then some people say, like, well, Azula ended up insane because she didn't work customer service like Zuko. Yeah. So, <laughs> true story. Everyone needs to do it at some point. I didn't work retail or the food industry, but I worked corporate, so I have already had my soul chipped right. away. So yeah, I've done all three, so that's all. Oh God, okay, Thanos, relax. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I work in a, I work in an ice cream shop, so in, in New York, which was Look fun. That. That's the that's the closest I came to the food service industry. I'm waiting to just be a trophy wife. Like that is. Trophy wife and grandma. That those are my next two options. I just have to wait for one of my children to have a child. So, yeah. it's like, <laughs> which is hey, not going to happen. 
speed it up. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Because they have kidding. their life much more together than I did at their age. So. Oh, look, the, the, look bear. the bear. Standard issue bear. Standard issue bear. <laughs> it's it's all boring. Not a platypus bear. By the way, he said skunk bear, and that's terrifying because a bear, that like is. an animal that size with a, with no. that gland, I don't even want to know what that smells like. Maybe it just has the coloring of a skunk. Maybe not the glands. <laughs> Maybe it's basically a panda bear, but it's striped. That's a lot. It's a panda bear <laughs> with some extra features. <laughs> <laughs> So I still would absolutely love to have a pet skunk and have the, that, uh, that removed just to turn it loose during parties and let it run through and just see how upset everybody got. And that is why the universe won't give me superpowers. The universe is like, she <laughs> is too powerful to be kept alive. We are not doing that. <laughs> I stood outside for 45 minutes today during that eclipse. It's my birthday and it's an eclipse. I thought I would get them, but apparently not. You didn't master the four elements while you looked at the eclipse? That's crazy. Nope. Nope. I mean, I only looked at it for a second because, you know, I'm not uh, dumb. <laughs> Did you um, see that picture of Jason Derulo just looking straight at the sun? And everybody was like, Jason! No! Yeah. <laughs> and then I always think back to the, uh, you know, ex-president of the United States just staring at the sky like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, that bozo. Yep. That's how you get other, that's how you get other kinds of fine, fire plus water equals steam bending. <laughs> that would be... Ooh. That would be kind of crazy. I don't see. I, I don't. Do we ever see waterbenders bending steam? I don't. Maybe in the Legend of Korra, but not in the mm. Avatar: The Last Airbender. Avatar, yeah. I've only seen Legend of Korra like twice, maybe three times. I mean, it would be a good way to dissipate a waterbender's attack as a firebender. Just put pumps and heat into it. Yeah, just it goes up. No I mean, they can, the waterbenders can freeze water, so it would stand to reason, I feel like, that they can heat it up, too. But I don't think you ever see any of them do that. Also, could you, if oh they could God. freeze oh, water, bloodbending would be crazy. Just freeze someone's blood. Oh you're like, God. cool, done. Also, I did see a TikTok recently that was like, oh, if you can bend liquids, you could bend the blood inside of dead bodies. And I'm like, that's so Ooh. metal. Like, imagine using, like, Dead bodies as human shields of blood bending. Oh my god, I can't be a waterbender. <laughs> you could be. You could See? be avatar, the, the avatar's first lich. That's what you could be. What's a lich? Oh, uh, it's a D and D thing. It's uh, undead master of the everything. It's gonna be what's the big bad in the next yeah. um uh yeah. <laughs> Netflix D and D show with the kids. What's it called? Um. Oh, sorry. I was just watching Stranger Things. <laughs> Stranger Things. That's it. That, he, there that, we go. That in Stranger Things is going to be a lich. It's going to be a lich. Can I Everybody's you... boycotting the new season, though. Sorry, I cut you off again. I'm a no. You're fine. Person. You're fine. This is this is what we did. No, we did this okay. the whole time. But yeah. my anxiety was so high the whole time watching Stranger Things because I'm like, where are the parents of these children that I remembered? It was the '80s, and our parents didn't care. Yeah. They were just like, go outside. And it's such a believable story as to what could have happened. And they, they locked they the door the behind time. her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just come back the before the lights turn on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just we don't care that what you me. do. We don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. My my I wasn't allowed in the house when the sun was up. <laughs> Go outside. <laughs> yeah. We we would be outside playing stickball and kick the can in the street. That was it. <laughs> Ridiculous. I wrote, oh, that's very sweet. Uh, Gnome, you've now unlocked a new fear for my anxiety, uh, being charged by an angry skunk. Well, well like last year at Jordan Con, we did have a wild possum loose in the hotel. Possum. So yeah, the okay. possum did come into the hotel. Is that no. who set off the fire alarm? No, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't know who set off the fire the alarm. Possum? That was fun. I don't, all I know is that was fun to have to, because it was early too, wasn't it? That yeah, fire alarm went off. Sunday oh, morning I, after after I, after the big oh dream my god party, after the yeah. dance party I was not as cute as I could be I will say that no, and I just never take it is this real <laughs> is this really real because you know we're so desensitized I'm like I don't smell smoke <laughs> but see this is so, uh, this is another thing I like about this version of Ang and this uh, th like I I. I've grown to like the live action show a little bit more that I've watched it, but the, they get Ang so wrong in the show and not just like them changing things. They, 
the the thing the really cool thing about ang in the cartoon is he has these moments like this where he's so obviously a child and yes has, but then he's forced into these moments where he has to like come to terms with being a like a child but then deal with this responsibility the version of ang in the live action show is just very mature all the time I they don't say he's already come to terms with it it's almost like he's already had the training that he's yeah. going to be an avatar and and the child doesn't come out it's not it's like he wasn't yeah it's like it's like he had more training before he went into the ice yeah as opposed mm -hmm. to ang just legit was like i'm not doing this yeah <laughs> and, you, and have, left. you don't have those silly moments with him where it's like he's right. a child and it's not because like i i mean obviously i like the silly moments but right it, it just really adds to his character when you when you when he gets thrown into the moments that are like really deep right. when you're like oh yeah you remember oh yeah he's like 12 <laughs> and and again that is what i liked about it when my kids were watching it when it first came out was like it shows them that you can there's two sides to that like you can still be a kid you can sometimes have to step up and be more mature and do things but this doesn't mean you're not a kid anymore that's fair so uh you know what i mean uh, I just want to make sure Crystal knows what's happening now. So you yeah. see this yeah. crazy, you see the crazy secret police, right, Crystal? That's what's happening. Mm -hmm. The Dai Li. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, and, th and then the, the other, <laughs> this other part of it, which is like the Earth Nation, which is supposed to be the good guys doing these horrible things. Like it's another just, I love, I can't wait. Like for the for like the generation that grew up watching Avatar to become like the leaders. <laughs> oh, I mean, they're getting so there. Fun. They're so getting good. there. We're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there. I mean, like people are in like their mid twenty, mid to late twenties now. Like another Asia couple. Will be, of years. Asia will be twenty seven this year, and she, mm -hmm. she was the one. She, her, and Roman. Roman will be twenty three, and they grew up watching Avatar. I can't and wait. Asia, Asia is she's very much. You got to take the man down. I'm like, your father's the man. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up, Evelyn? New name in chat. Fantastic. Evelyn! Oh. That's my best friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ang in the live action has one character trait and it's considering himself a fan. It's true. You're so right, bestie. You're so right. It's true. It's very true. <laughs> Oh my god. He also doesn't like, I feel like he's getting really bad direction. Like the kid himself, like when you see interviews with him, his normal demeanor is Aang. But yeah. then like, when he's on the show, it's like he's narrating what he's supposed to be doing instead of like- I'm telling you, it. they didn't do the live action show thinking kids would watch it. That's fair, that's fair. That, that, is, that is what I think, is they did not, they were not aiming at a kids where Nickelodeon was aiming it at kids to teach yeah. them all these lessons secretly. <laughs> Whereas the the- Live action was like we're we're going to get the adults on board. <laughs> she kind of these, these. We're also going to let the next episode just play right into it. So just yep. just let it go through people. The, the the timer will come back up in a second when the episode starts playing. Yep. Um. Uh, uh. Crystal, did you notice that that was a different Judy at the end? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Just making sure. I mean, they did that's change the, the hair, and that's you know that means that obviously only could mean that it's a different person, but. I mean, it's like the nurses in Pokemon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they all have the same name. It took me for a, a second. I was like, wait, oh my God, you're so right. They were all Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny. <laughs> Riss has, my, my child has thing has more important things to do than sit with our bullshit. So she'll, they'll be back in a minute. <gasps> How dare they? <laughs> all right. So the next right. episode will be starting now for everybody. If you just let autoplay take over, maybe if the internet works. But it's I'm like a minute in, so I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, 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 you're good. I just let the autoplay go. Me too, so I think we're good. All right. Judy. Previously on Avatar. Um, <laughs> you got to make the, it all epic. Yeah. Previously on Avatar. <laughs> Uncle Iroh. The tale of Top and Katara. Cool. Everybody get your ready because yep. it's just gonna be a mess from here on out <laughs> oh man the, uh, just like me for real. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, it's a true story right, the, we gotta uh, be quiet so i mean we can't talk too much we gotta make sure crystal sees what she needs to see yes yes I'll, and pull also, my, I'll pull my earbud out if i need to the, the um 
Oh, this I think this might be the first time we see Aang shaving his head also. <laughs> right. It's like, does right. he just shave his head constantly or what are we doing? <laughs> As a person who needs to shave their head constantly? Yes. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> <laughs> But you, ha you you have a much nicer shaped head than than I do. I feel like yours you look better with short hair. When I'm when my hair grows out, like you can see the shape of my head, and I don't like it because Your it's head not looks solid to me, bro. That's fair. <laughs> Maybe oh my you God. just don't like the way your hair grows. It's so true. if Avienda doesn't braid that. her hair at night, that's exactly what she looks like when she gets up. It is everywhere. It's big <laughs> and everywhere. It's cute. And, and a tangled mess. My, oh, my the little girl that was in here before. That was my youngest. Oh, this is, oh man, this episode, oh God. Because it also has Toph like having to like come to terms with, I forgot about that bit in this too. Like, like you know, she's, she's, no she's, spoilers. Being, she's being so vulnerable with Katara. Like it, this is such a great <laughs> growth for her oh, too. Oh my God. Yay. Say... Back. Hello. Everyone, everyone stare at Reese now. Everyone stare, stare at them. I just really had to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Oh, God. She would be, uh, Toph would be pretty epic in the sweat tents for the Aiel if she doesn't. Oh, my if, God. Yeah, if she doesn't have to, like, do, uh, pick up the, t top, between Toph and Kintara, being able to pour yeah. the water on the hot rocks. Yeah, that mm -hmm. would be awesome. I love that they're rocking like the second day makeup look. Yeah. <laughs> it's never this good. <laughs> First of all, you fall asleep with your makeup on. That is so bad. <laughs> I also learned that. I I started wearing makeup doing this and uh because my head is usually really shiny. <laughs> um, but I accidentally fell asleep with it on, woke up in the morning and it was pretty gross and my skin was all dry and icky i feel like makeup is just general and you know what it's a soapbox i'm not, yes. I'm not <laughs> it's mostly like my i didn't my head is so shiny especially right after i shave it so i wanted to tell you know use a little blotting powder yeah a little, little clear powder a little uh, and i and i have no idea what color my skin is it's like slightly <laughs> Because it, it, it's I'm like Sicilian, so like I get like a little darker than like stark white. Yeah. And I went to I went to Sephora, and I was like, "Oh, here we go." This is what I want, please. <laughs> oh, fix <me."> team. <laughs> yep. All right, let's do this, team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna literally go dry myself. <laughs> I have no idea what I look like. I love when they make these subtle jokes about her, her blindness. My favorite was in the last episode when she was like, Katara was like, she's blind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a it's really like, good one later. <laughs> in, so in helpless. Three. <laughs> oh, God. Like, look, there it is, oh. is what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, M Mako actually passed away before they finished filming this entire episode, but he did do this part. So, like Greg Baldwin, who played, um, who does Iro after the after this episode, pretty much, uh, uh, is credited in this episode as uh, as additional voices only. But then he's he does most of the other stuff because they don't film everything in like sequential order. So he still has. Some st like uh, Mako still has a bunch of stuff. Oh God, I love him so much. I'm like already tearing up. Like this. I know, I know. Whenever <laughs> I, if I need to, if I ever like have to cry for any reason, I think about this episode. Dead, 100 percent right. serious. <laughs> and let, even let this. Run. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Like even this is such a great way to show Iroh's character development because we only mm -hmm. know him as like the lovable old guy, but for all intents and purposes, this man is a war criminal. Like he's a war criminal. Man... Yeah. <laughs> he's like, what the dragon of the west. Yeah, yeah the and dragon of the west. specifically for this city, like he they sieged this city. <laughs> yeah, he wrecked them. He wrecked yeah. them. Oh, this is great. Speaking of playing stickball in the streets of New York, breaking windows. <laughs> my, my one of my uh, 
uh, one of my memories actually of my wife's brother before I knew my wife, um, we broke a window by accident and he didn't run and he still is mad about it. Like he's like, y'all left me. I'm like, motherfucker, the window broke, you run. That's what happens. You, uh, one job. Have you ever yeah. seen a movie ever? Yeah. He's like, I turned around and y'all were gone. I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's what you do when you accidentally destroy property. Exactly. Oh, this is great too. Mm-hmm. You don't want to sell me death sticks. I don't want to sell you death sticks. I uh, I used to do Toastmasters, uh, which is for people that don't know what that is, like public speaking class. Like basically they teach you how to do public speaking and there's like little courses and stuff you can go through. It's a fun thing. Anyway, uh, you, you everyone takes different roles in the meetings and one of them is to open up with a uh, inspirational quote. And I would always mm-hmm. use either Uncle Iroh quotes or quotes from the opening of Star Wars Clone Wars. <laughs> the little blurbs that they would put up, put up on the screen. They were always like inspirational quotes. So those were the only two things I used. All right. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. It's coming. <laughs> I have my muted and I'm already upset. <laughs> yeah. He's still here. He's still teaching the, uh, the, um, mugger. the mugger. mugger. For, uh, oh, here so we're going to go back yeah. a little okay. bit. Okay. No, no, you're fine. We keep going to oh, yeah. the right. screen now. So we're going to do something really bad for the stream. And that's just be silent while we watch this amazing scene. That's like 30 seconds off. Also, my wife painted me a picture of this scene. It's hanging on my wall right there. So horrible and amazing. It gets me every single time. I have seen that scene easily a hundred times. It'll never not get me. Uh, (sighs) Okay, I survived. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're we're still going through it. We're still going through oh, it. It's just ending. Oh God. Hold on. So let me. In honor of Mako. So that's the part. Yep. That's, okay. That's now I'm sitting. I yeah. snagged up with you guys. I went back like a little bit. I was like, hold on. Yeah. They. they that means speed running everything. trauma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They they specifically edited this episode to. To to showcase Mako in that scene, which is fantastic. And Crystal, you can't hear. Can you hear it? Are you listening to it? No. Okay, so I'm you have, have to watch. It. Yeah, you have to go back and watch it. Actually, hear him singing. Oh my god! Oh my that god! Is, that is I also found out that the portrait of his son is modeled after what Mako looked like, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> oh god. It was just like, oh cool. Even 15 years later, you find a way to make it even worse for me. <laughs> I will risk the content violation and I'm going to play at least the audio of his thing because I don't care. <laughs> I feel like I should be allowed to play a damn clip. I, <laughs> I played a single clip from Avatar and one of my other things and I got a content yeah. violation. Oh my God, the little kangaroo bunny is so cute. Here, hold on. Tell me if you could hear this audio. Did you hear that? Okay, hold on. I'll fix it. <laughs> we're still watching the episode, and now we have a... Pla- yeah. uh, we're back to normal bears. Platypus yes. bears. Bears we are familiar with. This <laughs> cat- <The> cabbages! <laughs> Shout out to the OG voice actor being yes. the guy in the yes. reboot. In the live action show. Yeah, I love that they did that. I love that they did that. I'm trying to figure out all the animal combinations we're looking at right now. <laughs> Dragonfly dragons, I guess. I don't know. I mean, they could have done more with that. Yeah, it was a little on the nose. It's a little on the yeah. nose. It's a little bit derivative, actually. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's not so much better than that. I don't know what that monkey is, but it's terrifying, and it's going to haunt yeah. my nightmares. It's my sleep paralysis demon, actually. Mm-hmm. I had to explain sleep paralysis to Alvy the other day because her friend mentioned it and she didn't know what it was. And I was like, 
And yeah, then I was were, like, yeah, you see that all the time. I'm like, don't tell me that. Don't tell me there's a demon. There were random all cabbages time. all over the boxing say when we were running around. She even made a map and they were you could see them on the map. We <laughs> love a person in STEM. That's crazy. <laughs> is that a is that a baboon bear? Oh, that's yeah, it's like a combination. Baboons are not nice. No. <laughs> them to have the strength of a bear they're pretty strong as it is he just said see because that just looks like regular elk question mark yeah. <laughs> it does well okay. apparently bossing thing has regular animals yeah they have african animals uh uh yeah. australian animals uh because they have like a bunny kangaroo but they also have like a um what's it called uh a bo oh, no, that's not the no bongo is what they're called. But what's the name? The springbok. That's what that was. Oh. Thank you, Disney Animal Kingdom. This is the Animal Kingdom Lodge at uh, Disney, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the the oh, cat the bunny room. is absolutely adorable, though. I want ten thousand of them. The bunny roo. Little bunny roo. This is just a regular cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is. That is. Um, <laughs> is that a baboon like buffalo? Uh, no baboon like, should ever be that big. No baboon should ever be that big. I, the no tale baboon. of Saka, baby. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. He's also a great example of like how to do comedic relief, but he's actually a character. I'm looking at you, Bolin's character assassination. Yep. I also like um, how they did his like, because I always feel like in, in TV shows when they do like the misogynist grows uh, mm -hmm. thing, they never do it well. And it always feels like it was an afterthought. Like they got right. hate, like they got bad feedback and they were like, oh, are we going to change this? They actually did his well, I, I feel like. I don't know. I mean, I'm not it's a like woman, so I can't attest to that. But I, I liked, I, I, I never cringed when he... Uh, did his learning experiences at least no his was pretty legit because me and my girl evelyn were talking about it that he was literally the youngest and the only boy in the water tribe because all the other ones like all the other men were at war so Sokka literally ha was parentified and that's why he's so misogynist because that's all he knew how to do and then, you know, he meets the Kiyoshi warriors and he's like, oh, I don't have to save everybody. And then that carries on throughout the show, yep. which is why in the live action, so many people were complaining because Sokka's brief misogyny is how we see Katara's character. Because if you take away Sokka's misogyny, then we don't get a character for Katara, which so many people were like, Katara's so boring in the live action. I'm like, yeah, because she didn't have like to, you know, defend against Sokka's misogyny. Yeah. I love the flighting here, by the way. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a rat battle. Yeah, it's they're rat, rat battling. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the new eight mile looks amazing. It's so good. <laughs> I wish you like Eminem with dark insane. hair. I will say. You what? I like Eminem with dark hair. I like him with the dark I've hair better than the blonde. Him. His hair is naturally dark. Really? Yeah, yeah. In, in eight mile, he has he ha he has his brown hair. Yeah, and he looks much better with the dark hair than the blonde. But I think I just like people with darker <laughs> hair. With an Aka. Yeah. He's and they're like, hair. nah. They're like, nah. Oh, he because he missed it. He went one syllable over. Yeah, yep. Yeah. This is the first uh, cancel culture ever, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's marked down in the, uh, in the old histories. Let's so go! <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one too. They're all good. Like they don't yeah. miss, bro. The fucking entire show is so good. Every time someone I I've, I've still yet to meet anyone that's like watched this and been like, "Nah, I don't like it." Anyone. Yeah, and if I've, I've never did, I've never met anyone that's seen this and was like, "I don't like this." No. I even watched this with my mom like a few years ago. My mom was like, "This is fantastic." I'm like, yeah. "I know." <laughs> I've met people I, like, oh, oh no, it's a kid's show. I don't think I want to watch it. But if they do, they know. What were you going to say, Crystal? Sorry. No, I was going to say, I'm not even an anime fan. So I was like, I'm not going to care about this. And I am so heavily invested. <laughs> like, I'm straight putting up to my two and a half year old, like, you, you want an avatar birthday. We're going to have an avatar birthday party just so I can buy all the fucking things. 
Oh, so it's your birthday, Crystal. Oh, you, have I sh- you know what? I turned 40. I totally should. You should do um, it. I, I ordered myself a weighted <laughs> oppa. Like it's a fuzzy giant weighted oppa uh, blanket. Anxiety blanket. It's on pre it's pre-order though, so I'm not gonna have it for a I'm while. I'm not a fan of this hair. Thank God she did that. <laughs> yeah, like anyway. <laughs> Oh God! God bless her. She was like, "No, immediately, no." no. Yeah, look, please, <laughs> please, no. But she's so cute too. I hope she, I like. I wanted to see her in Legend of Korra, but like that was exactly. like seventy years later. <laughs> yeah, with a little brooding child. A little brooding. Oh no, baby. he would have been like twenty in his twenties by then if they. I would know, yeah, yeah. Though we do get to see Zuko's kids in that show. It's a great show. You got to watch that too when we're done, when you're Legend done with Legend of Korra is great. Oh, so good. It's, I it's love the darker. memes of like, oh, I wish we had better PTSD representation. It's like, you could barely handle Korra. Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, y'all could barely handle a female avatar. Like, <laughs> yeah. when, yes, when, uh, yeah. <laughs> People argued when um, they gave uh, the uh, what's I can't remember Ang's daughter's name, but when they, they, they gave, yeah Janora, when they, they they gave her, I saw so much. I mean, it's all the same people that give all the hate to everybody, but like you know, because they gave she oh she would never be stronger than um, uh, the other son who can. Miko? Ten- no, Tenzin. She was because you know she was more powerful than oh, him. Oh, okay. So you're talking about Aang's daughter, Kaya. Oh, Kaya. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah because Aang, Aang. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Aang's daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of Tenzin's I, daughter. Sorry. No, yeah, yeah. Because when they were like arguing, and she, and he said, "Well, you, she said something about being more powerful than him," and people flew off the handle about that. I'm like, and what about it? <laughs> it's always the same people. It's always the same. It's people. It's always the same people. <laughs> so romantic he's also Very but like romantic. he's doing something for someone else oh, which is so such a good dude <laughs> uh reverse blt hey, yeah, friend. it just <laughs> happened you missed it like by like three minutes man yeah it's a coupon for a free cup of tea <laughs> you know what i i would take a coupon <laughs> I'd be like, are we about to kiss right now, bro? That's crazy. (laughs) And you're thrifty? Like, I love everything about you. You know how to save money? (laughs) (gasps) Ah! Shield your eyes. Shield your eyes. His first kiss. Oh, my God. That's right. I know. Oh my god, that's right. I keep I always forget Zuko is a 16-year-old boy. Mm-hmm. A very, very sheltered 16-year-old boy, too. Very sheltered. Yep. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fantastic. Look at I look at that. <laughs> All right, here we go, baby. <gasps> Momo! Yes. The tale of Momo. Oh, Papa, of miss you. Mama. That's my man. That's my man's. That's my man. And that. that's your boy. Yeah. Oh I my god. Say, oh no no no! You go. You go. No. Um. Whoever designed, like a sky bison, really went crazy with that design. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> he's so cute. He's also a beaver. Like there's. Oh, that was his dream. It's so fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hair. Oh, he misses him. Oh. Papa's just a little big baby. He's a little sky baby. Little baby. Me too, Momo. Me too. <laughs> look at him. Look at he tied it around his wrist. Oh, God, and like that. even this, like the animal companion has lore and a story and a yep. character arc. Like, like what's it? Brian and uh, what's the name of the other guy? The two showrunners. They were yeah, like. Yeah, yeah everybody's getting a story like <laughs> we are not wasting a single moment of any of these characters and it's it, like i just truly commend them for how rock solid everything about avatar is like how did how did they do that like <laughs> like 
in so in such small yeah. doses too like it's nothing feels like exposition where it's like they're trying to teach us a lesson or something like you know like it's a teacher never. standing us a lecture it's always like these little doses of just and they're so deep it's the classic show don't tell of <laughs> you filmmaking get you like, get an <laughs> No. Hey, if you if you want a whole novel about a animal, like a companion animal searching for its companion animal buddy, you should read Mort <laughs> M O R T E in brackets by Robert Rapino. Brilliant. That's going on my list. Writing it to my Goodreads right now. <laughs> However, I'm I'm literally just gonna be like Mort. <laughs> Lord, please. <laughs> now I, can... I just think of Madagascar. <laughs> that's I love that. Uh, wait, wait, is that the one with? Yeah, that's the one with uh, King Julian. Mm -hmm. Of course. What's the other like off-brand Madagascar that they made that came out at the same time? Um, the Wild, the Disney one. That's it. That's it. Is it? Yeah, Robert Rapino. Okay, add it mm -hmm. to the Goodreads, baby. It'll blow your mind. By the end of it, you'll be like, the what? Huh? Mm. Um, I have a question. <laughs> it's an interesting just, read. It's good. Yeah, I've read a few books person. like that recently, so I'm like, yeah, let's keep this going. Like, I, read, I read Tender is the Flesh recently. That was brutal, but it was so good. I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, hell yeah. Anarchy! <laughs> I, just started a, I just started a rebellion. Don't worry. Cash. Oh. Mama. <gasps> no. What? Yes. Follow the kitties. <laughs> what are they? Are they cat dogs? Like what? They were meowing. They were meowing yeah. and growling. Yes. Look. It is look a foot. It is a footprint. Wait, hold on. I want to look at your <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was that about you not crying? Stop it. Uh, that's, the perfect, that's the perfect hook for her for next episode, too. She's been asking about Abba for like a month. Every episode. Every episode. Where the hell? <laughs> oh, so I have God. to say, I feel like I lost out a little bit not getting to hear it. I'm going to have to hear it as soon as we're off this. I got you. I got you. I got we're you. We're going to speed run a content violation yeah. real quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ho hopefully, like, <laughs> like, let's, let's, everyone put out into the universe that I don't get a content violation. Here we go. I'm doing it anyway. It's worth it. Happy birthday, my son. If only I could have helped you. Leaves from the vine Falling so slow Like fragile tiny shells Drifting in the foam Little salt of hope Come marching home Brave soldier boy Comes marching home that don't, was, don't put it again. Uh, no, 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 playing again. Oh, oh, so, not the sing along with it too. I know. I know. Oh the, uh, my god. <laughs> sorry, babe. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the the so Crystal obviously. I mean, we've talked about it a bunch. So Mako, the guy that that does Iro, he passed away so like i think he still has a couple of episodes left because they didn't fill them sequentially mm -mm. but um the guy greg baldwin that filled in he's great he's not he doesn't have the same gravitas that like mako has but like he's still good he's good but he refuses he'll never sing that song ever like he has made statements over and over that is me it's called mako's song too like that's how they credited it Wow. And he he has said over and over he will never ever ever sing it. He doesn't matter. How, he he said it doesn't matter how much money anyone offers me. I don't care. I'll never sing it. So it's he's a he's also a really good dude. And that's but, yeah. on artistic integrity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The um my cousin. Uh, so I had more nepotism. 
another guest I had on the show was my cousin, who is also an actor. He's a stage actor, though, uh, in New York. Currently, if anyone has seen A Bronx Tale playing Colodro, the main character in A Bronx Tale, in an off-Broadway show in New York. So if Whoa. you want to see that, go check it out. Um, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Uh, uh, was that a Smosh he, reference? It was. Oh, my God. Are you a Smosh <laughs> fan, too? Oh, Oh my God. Was your day also ruined for like four days when they announced that they got married? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm still like, I don't think it's real, guys. It's very much real, but I'm like, I don't know. They might still be trolling. <laughs> but yeah, I do say, I'm on my why like that exclusively because it's Smosh now. Every single time someone says that, I do it. And you are the first person I'm on to my why. ever, ever, ever chime back in with that. So it's fantastic. I also so chime in with, haven't you people ever heard of closing the goddamn door? But that's different, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I you have to come to Jordan before. Con now. You're going to have to come hang out with Tom at Jordan it's Con. True. You can Legally, just be my... I have to. Yes, you Where can is come Jordan Con? Atlanta. Okay. It's in Atlanta. Hot Atlanta, as I like to refer to it. Atlanta, baby. Atlanta. <laughs> it, it is a little bit miserable going in April, though, because the trees try to murder you at every turn. They are just trying to keep their line going. I it's, listen. They it's they, murder they, sperm. No for an answer. They do not take no for an answer. They do. Not. It is murder sperm. It's a lot of pollen. It's a the, lot of pollen. The pollen. No, no. You don't. Not. Nah, not. Nah, nah, you don't. Nope. People are like, no. The pollen here is really bad. No. <laughs> you don't understand. Like, we were driving in the shuttle truck in Atlanta. I forgot going where, wherever from the hotel to wherever, and I'm like, what is that? And it was like. It looked like, like, like legit looked like a joke. Like it looked like a joke. Like it was a, it was green fog. It was fog, but it was green. And I'm like, what is that? And they're like, that's the pollen. And I was like, fuck no, it's not. you. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so we're not all the Zyrtec to Atlanta. Yeah. All of it. Yeah, it is cool. not a joke. Jordan like, Con, I actually Jordan don't Con have has- any allergies because my bloodline's not weak, but. <laughs> well, so just, look, Jordan Con will test it. Um, so Jordan Con st- is in two weeks. Like what? Two, three weeks ago, we told everybody come and start taking your allergy medicine now. You yeah, need to build some genius system. Just start, just start loading on Zyrtec yes, the way you yes. load on creatine. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. Because, and and that's without even really leaving the hotel. Just the pollen that gets in. That's wild. <laughs> At a certain point, it stops being allergies and starts being just like inhaling dust. It's yeah. just anaphylactic like, it's, shock at some yeah, point. Yeah, it's just it's particles ridiculous. that shouldn't be in the air. Yeah. It's it's so bring a KN95. Yeah, well, yeah. and just stay in the hotel is pretty much the... Stay in the just, hotel. Don't yeah. leave. Yeah. <laughs> you can't go out there. <laughs> Speaking of Jordan Con, though, that's the perfect segue. Uh, next week, we're going to have, uh, in addition to our fantastic guest, which I'm going to announce right now, is Joe from TwatCast. Oh, you can't see it. I have yeah, the, I see uh, it. Going. It's, it's, Joe, it's either Joe and Jono from TwatCast, but also Hopper, <gasps> who, uh, not the wolf from the Wheel of Time, but um, yes. next Aww. best thing. The officer of uh, charity at Jordan Con. He runs all of the charity events at Jordan Con. Let's go. Uh, Jordan Con is a full charitable organization. No one gets paid there. Everyone works for free. And uh, all the proceeds, 100% of the money that doesn't go to pay for like the event goes to the Mayo Clinic, which is, uh, for those who don't know, and yeah. uh, Alesa, uh, Alesa specifically, but anyone who's watching who doesn't know, Robert Jordan was the author of The Wheel of Time. He passed away uh, uh, from a, z- a disease called amyloidosis. And he was, it's a rare blood disease and he died way too young. He was like in his late fifties, early sixties. And, um, he went to the Mayo Clinic and they helped him like a lot. And he was able to last for a pretty long time. And, uh, he dedicated a lot of things to the Mayo Clinic. And in memory of that, Jordan Khan is like one of the, like, that's our charity. That's the only charity we donate to. The only one, the only other one we've ever donated to is a, a, from a couple of uh, staff member had passed away and we donated to a hospice that they used at their end of life, which was fantastic. Shout out to Steve Gadecki. He was an awesome dude. Um, 58. There you go. Thanks. Noma garden. Oh, by the way, uh, 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 Noma garden is like our resident, like 
Google machine. He knows pretty much everything. So he's he's clutch. He catches me in my he bullshit. Keeps us. Yeah. Yeah. God <laughs> bless the the eye yeah. in the sky, the guy in the chair. Yeah. It's because now, that's a true podcast where it's like, hey, Norman Garden, pull that shit up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all we gotta do. That's all we gotta do. I'm like, Norman Garden will correct me when I'm wrong. Don't worry. Uh, Norman Garden's he, a Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he is now. Norman Garden, where are you? Um, the uh, but yeah, so so he runs all the charity events. We're gonna have him next week, and he's gonna announce some super special Ooh. stuff that's gonna be in the charity Ooh. auction that Ooh. he had that hasn't been announced yet. So Maybe some stuff donated directly by the Jordan estate, perhaps. Maybe. And we'll see. We'll Allegedly, see. according yeah. to sources. Yeah, we'll see. Unconfirmed. We'll see. <laughs> uh, I will. I will. Uh, I'm donating a couple of things. One of them is uh, uh, a Jordan Con 10th anniversary pin. Oh. Which you can't really find anymore. Like they, we only made yeah. a, a, a certain amount of those. But, mm -hmm. and then the other one is this. A the Wheel of Time oh, came, uh, comic that came out in 2007. This oh. is the Eye of the World issue one, and it's the black and white pen and ink version, which they only made a few of. So, Tom, I have that. Cool. And you want to know where I got it from? My first year at Jordan Con, I volunteered, and in the volunteer raffle, that's what I want. That was in there. Nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> Yeah. So, so, uh, and that, there's another thing. So if you want to go to Jordan con, if you're going to Jordan con and you don't know anybody sign up to be a volunteer, cause it's the, first of all, you'll meet everybody. You get to be kind of a little bit behind the scenes with some stuff, mm -hmm. Ooh. but also they, we take care of our volunteers. Like, uh, for instance, Ebony won a com that comic, which is, mm -hmm. I think it, it's got, like, I had to put the value of it or whatever it's like 400 mm -hmm. eBay right now so like that's wow and most of the stuff for the volunteers is donated by the jordan estate again so like there's nice. a lot of you'll find a lot of really cool stuff in there so you know obviously selfish reasons be a volunteer but also it's a ton of fun and you get to help out like an awesome convention like it wouldn't run without the volunteers that we get on site like right. it wouldn't be able to run so yeah and also if you are new, come see me because I, if it's your first year attending, because I am the new member services <laughs> director. It new is my job to make services empress. She's got she's got too many titles. She can't but keep them straight do, anymore. I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm Facebook. So basically, I'm the mom. That is basically mm -hmm. my title everywhere I go. Just come, I come. I will make you feel welcome. I will give you all the information. Me too. That I'm is. a mom too. I don't know if you know my child right yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, you did explain the lore a little earlier. <laughs> but, you know, if it's your first time, you should, <laughs> you should have actually gotten an email. Norman Garden, me. pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm so excited. Crystal is going to be a first time attendee. Got, really? got my email. So, yeah. Oh my I'm God, I just excited. noticed Crystal's Shits Creek shirt. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Excellent yeah, shirt. <laughs> so, I have three role models in life Miss Piggy. That's Correct. One. Yes, Miss Piggy's the first one. Actually, I've got two major ones. It's Miss Piggy, Miss Piggy, and and David Rose because that is <laughs> fair. They like might, might be so the same. They might be. I've never seen them in the they, same room together. Yeah, I'm just because these are the and, and Linda from Bob's Burgers. These are the people <laughs> that I model my yeah. personality after. This is this is what I'm trying to be. Absolutely yep. fantastic choices. <laughs> the, 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 the gifts of David that exist everywhere, uh, I use all the time because they oh, encapsulate exactly perfect. what I'm feeling. Yeah, they're perfect. They're perfect. Yeah, <laughs> he tells an entire story with his face, and it's amazing. Yep. David Rose yep. is literally me yep. if I were a man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like, I see, yeah, I was David gonna Rose say, is I, love my life. I was going to say he might have the soul of a sassy black woman. I don't know. Oh, but <laughs> I could now we're getting into a real deep conversation here. All right, we're talking. Let's go. <laughs> is, is me, me, and David Rose have a lot of the same opinions and faces. I have never Wait. felt more seen in a piece of media ever than when David takes Roland clothing shopping and then oh Roland doesn't oh take God, anything yes. that David picks and then David gets so irate with him and then Roland drops him off and he's like I don't have a lot of things in life but what I do have is taste and I'm like that's me that's literally me like I just 
just the way he says absolutely not like that absolutely, absolutely not yeah. <laughs> and it is so overly dramatic i don't have to say that but anytime somebody asks me something at work absolutely not <laughs> his his relationship with his sister is also my relationship with my sister so it's perfect. <laughs> absolutely perfect. Just, I, I also I, love I, the I, classic I um i am on day two of a panic, yes, of a panic <laughs> yes. that was literally me when courtney and shane were like we got married i'm like I'm on day two of a panic attack. Just right shut up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying really hard to not connect with people right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh man. Now th this is this is the distraction to get away from the leaves from the vine to bring it back up and make mm -hmm. everything. Why would you? Why would you do that? I, because I'm a horrible person. I got I'm us sure. out unscathed, and then I'm you threw us back into the fire pit. Oh my God. His relationship because of, uh, yes, yes. Aaron is very much an indoor. Cat. Literally, she's, an she's a house cat. Aaron is an Aaron is an indoor cat for sure. Yeah. I don't know what animal I would be. I do frequently say that I'm a capybara because I just mind my business, but I get along with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I love those yeah. freaking capybara videos. They got me through the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah. In my old age, I've become a honey badger because I literally do not care. Like, you just square up immediately. <laughs> I don't like what we find. I didn't, think I, I didn't think I was gonna live this long. What do I have to lose? Like, <laughs> you're like, at this point, doesn't matter. You like, maxed out your there. XP. There'll be something new. <sighs> All right, Took so. Um, I, I already announced next week's episode is going to be Joe from Twacast and Hopper and possibly more Jordan Con people if they want to come. I don't know. We'll nice. see. Um, but what are y'all doing next? Like, where can people find you? Obviously, TikTok and YouTube for for Elisa. Uh, Reese, you're gonna Reese, you're gonna be at um, you're gonna be at Jordan Con as a guest, right? So anyone going to Jordan Con, <laughs> check the schedule for appearances of reese on panels uh, do you have a schedule yet do you know what you're gonna I do, do i do have oh, a schedule what are you doing what yeah are you doing? um let's see i'll be designing a game Ooh. at like in the afternoon on friday friday night i'm going to be um drunk sorry <laughs> no because i have no. work to do um guy oh my god what's his last name guy Roger. Roger. guy yeah. Roger. He's doing a Shakespeare panel upon which I am also. Ooh, wow. that's awesome. Ooh. So I'll be talking Shakespeare with not just Uno Nomesa, but like artistic director of Prague Shakespeare. Yeah, he's the artistic <laughs> director um, who of are the Prague they? Shakespeare Company. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's an, uh, an actor from the Amazon show. Is no, I'm saying for Reese, like they're doing actors. such cool stuff. I'm like, who are they? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Who do and, they think um, they are being so talented and so my, ch my child is multi-talented. I'm very proud. <laughs> other, other than that, I'll be doing win, lose, or draw. I'm always doing win, lose, or draw. Mm -hmm. And then a panel about how to not go to art school, but still make art. I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> and what about, what about you, Alaysa? What are you doing next? Like other than, you know, your a million thousand TikToks that you have. <laughs> I can't even keep track of 600,000 followers. Like, are you, do you have any like oh. events or anything that you're doing or? So I recently got approved to attend Florida Supercon as a content creator guest. And I'm like, <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> Which is such a full circle moment for me. Cause I've been going to that convention since like it's second year. And now it's like, Oh, surprise. Like, I don't think it's like I'm like the one sitting there signing autographs or anything. I think they just like, oh, here's like a three day pass for you to like create content and just be at the con for free. And I'm like, hey, yeah. a win is a win, buddy. <laughs> um, That's in July, right? Huh? That's in July. Yes. Yay. Yeah, it's like tomorrow. And <laughs> yeah, just making content. I got my merch out. Uh, not this super cool Avatar merch, but I do have lots of surprise Matt Damon merch now. I've been trying to get that out there because wow. for anyone that's not familiar with my content and who's never seen me before, one of my most beloved series on my account is chronicling every Ma uh, Matt Damon cameo in <laughs> movies and TV. So I have chronicled all of them, including his um, Law and Order one where he does a voiceover. And it's actually Matt Damon doing the voiceover of his Matt Damon character, which is hilarious. That. That's awesome. 
<laughs> that's one of the deeper cut Matt Damon's. And then we have more critical Matt Damon theory where it's like the ones that weren't surprise Matt Damon's, but you forgot about them. So they become surprise Matt Damon's like Spirit the Horse from Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. <laughs> so we got the merch, Photo Supercon. I create uh, silly content on TikTok. Uh, I got a website if you want to see all of my socials there. And I am going to be getting back into stand-up comedy soon. Ooh, that's Ooh. fun. I'm excited. I've done it a few times before. I love it so much. And that's everything I got going on. And yeah. That's exciting. Doing my best. I, <laughs> Thank I, you. I shared in chat links to uh, Elisa's stuff and uh, Reese's stuff. So make sure to go check out their stuff, their websites. <laughs> Yay. And it's also so the, if you're watching this later, which I, I we do get some people that watch these lives later, which is interesting because usually like the th the shtick is to hang out with us, but like pe yeah. we still get the people watch them on YouTube, which is great. But yeah. make sure to check the description down below for the links to both of their stuff. Ah, oh, yay! Uh, I have a quick question. So I have this theory because I also so I haven't done stand up comedy, but like. I I do a lot of paneling at conventions and I mm -hmm. like, but when I tell a joke and get that laugh or say anything and get any kind of emotional response, like I've gotten people to boo me, like an entire room to boo me instantaneously by saying something. And it's yeah. the most fantastic feeling in the whole, is, is like, is that like the thing that you're constantly chasing when you're thinking about like, like when you're on the stage, that high feeling of like making an entire room laugh? Like, is that something that you think about? Like, do you ever think about that? I do. I do get some of that already with like TikTok content. Cause like seeing like comments and likes and all that stuff. Like right now my 4B movement video just took off. It's at like 5 million views right now. And seeing like the 15,000 comments, people reposting it, talking about it, even surprise, like a very right wing creator got a hold of it and then they did a video on it. And then now their fans are like leaving hate comments on my video. And oh, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, so I like, make all the money from your shit. I'm like, yeah, win is a win, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. Because <laughs> they just don't know how the algorithm works. I'm like, the more hate comments you leave, the better it is for me, actually. Yeah. But anyway, but yeah, that high of performing and being able to elicit emotion in people is something that I thoroughly enjoy. Like when Lady Gaga wrote the applause, I'm like, she gets it. <laughs> now, I, I, I asked that because this weekend I, uh, I realized that's why I enjoy cooking for people too. Like, Oh, I, absolutely. Super I fun. love I, cooking. And that's why I, because it's like, you get that instant feedback. It's instantaneous. Like, here's the food. Oh, a hundred percent. That instant gratification that we're told to avoid. Screw <laughs> that. I want to no. know. Like, I just <laughs> recently got like a new espresso machine and she's like a real beauty. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. every time comes over, anytime anyone comes over, I'm like, want some coffee? I'll make you some coffee. It's like, no, I'm good. do you want some coffee? And it's like, no, at least it's fine. Do you want some coffee and they're like oh yes i'm like oh my god thanks for asking <laughs> so yeah i do love that feeling and i do want to do it again because i've done stand up a couple times before uh my first set was i mean it was good it's just that there was a person there who was not treating me very well and i just got real mad about it so my opening mm. joke was like about how mad I was about it. So in hindsight, like I'm like, I probably shouldn't have done that, but like, I don't regret it. <laughs> and then the second time was during lockdown that it was a zoom comedy hour, a zoom happy hour That's interesting. where it was super cool. So, uh, backroom sessions, they're like a local collective here in Miami that they give, they, their whole thing is putting the bottom of the map on the map. So it's giving like local artists, like platforms to I perform. So they did one that it was, a. Uh, cocktails and comedy so every comedian on the set list is it a set list on the roster i don't know sure. uh we all picked uh a cocktail to make while we were telling jokes so it was super fun and oh, i did an old fashioned because i'm like okay that's like yeah like frilly enough where it's interesting to look at but not so complicated that i'll lose focus on the jokes and that was really fun but that was like three years ago now so i'm like i, oh I gotta God. get back on stage baby i gotta what is time I don't even want to think about it. It's a whole thing. <laughs> I, I I'm excited to see though. I, I gotta I gotta get a ticket when uh when um when you go on. Oh, I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta come off. So it's gonna be awesome. don't be. Are you telling me you're on your way? 
Oh, I'm, 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 I'm on my way. Exactly. I literally can't not say it like that anymore. Like <laughs> ever. That's how I do it all the time. And you are literally the first person and that I can remember ever <laughs> getting it, which is fantastic. And we're like you friends. said it a certain way. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait yep. A You're we're best friends now. That's how this works. <laughs> So I'm going to be maid of honor at your vow renewals, actually. Yeah. Which is <laughs> when, when you can do that. Like, yeah. like we just did, we just did ten years, so like that's like fifteen. You can right? do whatever you, do whatever you want. Next There's year no you're rules. coming. You're invited. There's no cool. rules. Whatever you feel like. Yep. <laughs> Love that. Everyone here is invited. Because it's going to be at Jordan Con. You need to tell these tales. Oh, gosh, Which yeah. tales? <laughs> the the I. Don't, what what tales am I telling, babe? What tales am I telling? Or or is it or is it uh, Alisa? I'll do um, a type five right now, and I'm just kidding. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, and then yeah, so Jordan Con, we're going to be here next week with Joe from Twatcast and some Jordan Con people. Oh oh, he's she's talking to Reverse BLT and the, oh, oh he's gotcha. oh Reverse B B BLT said he can't do sets because he would embarrass his mom. I would embarrass the shit out of my mom, but she would laugh. My dad would not laugh. Oh she told God. me that the little people did relay races at night because, of, oh my God, the the nonsense that our mothers tell us. Yes. <laughs> As a mom, we're just trying to survive. We are just yep. trying to get y'all to go to sleep. We're trying to get y'all to stop asking Shut questions. Up. The original <laughs> just like Gabe Keep Girl Boss. <laughs> yeah, we, just, we want you to stop. We just want you to stop. We will say whatever it takes. Oh, I'm so happy stop. with my child free choices. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know what? what? I have three children, they're all cats. And it's all, I'm I, sorry, four children, three are cats, and one is one Reese. Is Reese. And I got I, I got them when they were already an adult, so it's fantastic. You have to raise the kittens. Good. I adore my children, but somebody could have gave, given me the lowdown on motherhood and childbirth before I went on this adventure. That's <laughs> why, that's a huge reason why I'm child-free is because growing up, my mom raised me with how serious having kids is so yeah. Yeah. now she's like oh you'll change your mind no i won't no <laughs> no and you know what don't don't change your mind you do they, you be happy nothing is worse than somebody having kids because somebody said they should because now nobody's happy uh, i think the best argument is like oh you should have kids blah 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 i'm like how would my kids feel knowing that you had to convince me to have them no 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 Unless Donkey <laughs> is your favorite character in Shrek, I'm do saying. not have children. Like, uh, do not have children. 12. My youngest <laughs> is 12. Non-stop talking about the drama in sixth grade. Yep. Like, why is there so much drama in sixth grade? Y'all don't have bills. Y'all don't have a job. Where is the drama coming? Y'all are making up issues. Why are you making what up makes issues? Me... <laughs> what makes me, like irrationally angry as those videos of babies getting massages. I'm like, why do they need massages? <laughs> what are they stressed about? Like that, <laughs> also, that can't be healthy. Like, it's obviously a gentle massage, but I'm like, right. I'm like, I don't think Buddy can even see yet. Like, <laughs> like, what are you talking? Like, what is, I don't understand. Like, it's so insane. But yeah, like, my friends with kids are so funny. They're like, you know, they're having their like regular parent complaints, and I'm just here like, oh, I know it's so hard having all this free time and disposable income. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like, and, oh, and, it's so hard to just do and, whatever I want anytime I want. So you know, we were almost done. So I have a 26 year old, a 22 year old, and a 12 year old because my husband yeah. thought we should have one more. I tell him all the time, you had more game that night than you've had in your entire life. There is no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, no, no. T tell her, tell her uh, why he had kids with you, though. He wanted to see himself. Oh, so my my son and my husband, my son, our son is like my son, <laughs> my husband's twin. And so I had a friend say, Brian just wanted to see what he looked like black. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> He does. He really does <laughs> exactly like him, except he's black. <laughs> but that's like, like, so I funny, just, like that. It, it's so all all of them look like him. Though my oldest is starting to look more like me, and I'm like, mm. so apparently I am just I'm a cloner. Like all I did, all I gave him was seasoning and sat. That's all they got from me. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> like how Reese Witherspoon's daughter is a carbon yeah. copy of her. But, it's incredible. Like I'll, I'll have to find it, but Rome, my son Roman and my husband Brian, it's the same person. It is the same person. They sound alike. Interesting. Like they, That's gotta be they, frustrating. They, they sit, 
Well, so when they're like when Roman comes home to visit. Like even coming up the stairs, they sound alike. I'm like, what is what is even happening? Yeah, what is and my happening? husband, my husband wasn't there when our son was born because he was at basic training. And I'm like, mm. you have the audacity to look exactly <laughs> like him, and he wasn't even there. He called me back after you were born because he was singing karaoke in a bar while I was pushing your big kid out, and had the audacity to tell me that's where he was, and you wouldn't look exactly like him. You were living your Top Gun fantasy while I was giving birth? <laughs> exactly. And I'm just like, you're uh, singing Great Balls of Fire while I was on fire? Like, <laughs> he, he, he was probably singing Bohemian Rhapsody because that is what he enjoys to do. That's a, that's a good karaoke song. It I don't is. feel like that's an opening karaoke song. That's like a like, last call karaoke. You gotta do Bohemian He's got Rhapsody. a lot of confidence. My husband has a lot of confidence. I that's mean, funny because I was wearing my I have a shirt that's it's a black shirt so I can't wear it on camera because then my face just bleeds into my shirt but yeah <laughs> uh, um uh it's a it has a little silhouette of a man holding a plate of mangoes so it's I'm it says I'm a little silhouette of a man holding a plate of mangoes and then like people are reading it and I'm like and then I just start humming Bohemian Rhapsody and then they get it it's really it, it was a lot but I wore that today to dinner because <laughs> my entire closet ah, yes. is nerd shirts and shorts <laughs> <laughs> nothing with buttons nothing nope. with sleeves <laughs> if it has sleeves it's a, it's also a nerd shirt it will probably have star wars and or disney on it valid yeah or but actually pretty much just stitch and moana yeah that's pretty much yeah that's it oh my god every time i hear about moana i'm like it's crazy they're doing a live action of moana when moana's not even that old <laughs> yeah yeah you, you know what I watched this weekend? I watched Black Cauldron, and I'm like, they should do live action versions of those old, old movies, because who's going to complain that it doesn't match? You're doing stuff too recent in our memory for us to, to compare it to. Do the Black Listen, Cauldron. Do the they, don't need to, they don't need to Well, they did do Pete's Dragon. Generation. Yeah, what, or, or Pete's Dragon. Oh, yeah. Or, they did or do Pete's Dragon. New movie. That's true. They they need yeah, like they need the money. <laughs> Studios yeah. make original content challenge level impossible. <laughs> they, don't, they, they don't even have to do that. Go look at other mythologies. You know how many countries there are in Africa with my, myth, mythology that they can make stories out of? There's so I know. many. Yeah. Instead, we're gonna make the mermaid black. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm like I remember reading American Gods for the first time, and Ooh. like, like when, when it, I don't even remember when it came out, but then like reading a not, and then I read a Nazi Boys after that, and then that started my rabbit hole of like African, yeah, <laughs> but uh, uh, of going into like African mythology and folklore and like things, and oh, there's so much cool there's shit so, over there. Well, because it's a bunch of countries, there's still people that feel like Africa's one big country is no, there's that. so many countries in there's Africa. Bunch of countries. There's a there's so, another TikToker. Those... Sorry. There's another TikToker that I follow that is redoing all of the D&D lore with African lore. Like he's changing all of the like the Dragonborn or something else and the blah 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 or something. But they have like these he's and, but then he also gives the background of the actual folklore that it's from and it's absolutely freaking fantastic. I will post I it that. in uh, I'll post it on my Instagram uh, when we're done here, but uh, I don't remember just, his name. I'm just saying, every culture has lore. Go, go yeah, find something literally. New. <laughs> just go find something new. The same thing with Latin, Latin American develop. countries. Like there are so many Latin American countries, but you guys keep picking the same three, and I'm like, guys. <laughs> every time. Every Please. time. Find something new. Let's try something new. <laughs> My, well, a, a good friend of mine growing up was uh, Peruvian, and he had, like, his grandmother told us some fucked up stories about, like, <laughs> monsters and shit that, that, that she used, that, that, you know, because she used it to scare us right. when we were, when we, but we're, you know, like, I never heard a lot of those fucking stories. I got to call him up and see what, the, I don't remember <laughs> the name. They were all messed up names. It was all horrible. Hey, Norman horrible. Garden, get him on the podcast right now. <laughs> George, Jorge, I need to, I need to call him up. I haven't talked to him in a while. My 10 year high school reunion. Oh no, no. 20 year high school reunion is coming up soon. I should see him. Holy yeah. Shit. Know, yeah. Know. My 30 year is coming up. I love all of yeah. you. Awesome nerds, but, uh, Ebony is going to yell at me if we keep her up any later. So it, this is true. Hold on, uh, you guys Eb cut out for a second. I didn't hear anything you just said. Uh, all right. I said, I said, uh, Eb Ebony is going to yell at me if we keep her up any later. And I love all of you awesome nerds. <laughs> 
Thank you for spending. This has been a fantastic birthday. I had a wonderful cake yesterday and a great meal. And then today I had a, a, a great meal, hung out with my wife. And now I got to hang out with all of you people. And it's been fantastic. This was the coolest time. Thank you for having me. Oh, you are welcome whenever you want. I'll tell you next time we'd start a new show. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Um, can I submit The Sopranos? No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> yes. A little too close to home for me. Don't Google my name. I still <laughs> want to do WandaVision. Oh, what's going on? We're going to do WandaVision at some point. Oh, my God. WandaVision so is good. so good. And also, Disney really shot themselves in the foot releasing WandaVision first. Because the bar was set so <laughs> high with WandaVision that, like, everything else was, like, yeah, fine. The only Mar thing that even came close to WandaVision for me was Miss Marvel. And then everything else is like, fine. I, I love like Loki. that girl Loki. is so great. What was her name? Yeah. The actress. Oh, I can't remember. I don't remember. Oh, I, I don't don't remember. remember her name. She's fantastic. I loved, I, I don't know. Like, I, I waited to see the Marvels because like people oh, were like, g g g people that I trusted gave up, gave it a lot of hate. But um, <laughs> I, but then I loved it. It, was the it was so good. It was fun. Yeah, it was so fun, and they let no. Brie Larson act. <laughs> I love Brie Larson. She like I love her. Just look, Google Brie Larson, Samuel L. Jackson interviews. They're the greatest thing that's ever happened. They're the two incredible. of them together are fantastic. Uh, but hold on a second. Have you never seen Clone Wars? <gasps> wow, Evelyn throwing me under the bus right now. No, I've well, never seen Clone Wars. So look, I'm over wow. here gasping when I haven't seen it either. But it's on my list. Like I know you need to see it. Wow. Evelyn. Evelyn has forsaken me right now. She really just said, I'm going to expose you as a fake nerd. I'm going to ruin your brand. I'm literally going to torch it all. Thanks, Evelyn. Love you so much. Yeah, Evelyn, we got to talk. We, we, we'll, we'll get this going. We'll get this going. Oh, my I heard God. It's good. So good. It's I just, so I'm just, good. I'm just not the. Okay. I love you too, Evelyn. But <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. You got to. So it, it's the writing. The guy that took over star wars wrote like season like after season two so like the first season's a little much but like after that it gets very very good the guy that I took mean, over evelyn like, told me the same thing she was like yeah. listen to me i'm like <laughs> I, I always listen to everything you say evelyn evelyn's never wrong everything. ever no i i from what i've seen so far she knows what she's talking about so evelyn has never been in the general neighborhood of missing she just never misses <laughs> <laughs> what, okay, you now, haven't finished it? oh my god you people you need to watch the show watch the show oh i'm just not a star wars girly but like Evelyn's it's gonna hold it, me it, at gunpoint <laughs> it is it is it's it's it yes it's star wars <laughs> but it's better it's better. It's more than just Star Wars, like because it's really good writing. Like where Avatar has a lot of deep meaning and it's got a lot of fun themes. When Dave Filoni took over from that, he injected a lot of that into it. And it was listen, really, really I am not a Star Wars fan, but I fully respect Star Wars as a franchise and its impact. And it's, I under like I, I'm I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. I get Star <laughs> Wars, but like it's just like not for me. Yeah, but well, I respect the fandom it. Is also terrible. Like <laughs> the majority yeah. of the Star Wars fandom is terrible. <laughs> oh yeah, it's really fun. Sometimes when I want to just feel something, I'll comment like a hot take on a Star Wars TikTok and just watch them <laughs> go nuts. Oh man, they'll kill you. Yeah, don't even. <laughs> they're they're bad. They're bad. Listen, I've been an anime fan for a while too, and some anime fandoms, I'm like, you guys are out of your mind. Like the My Hero mm -hmm. Academia fandom, I'm like, you guys are not okay. You no. guys are insane. <laughs> like. Mm -hmm. Was anyone there for the Steven Universe fandom when it was a thing? My God, yeah. Steven, Steven Universe fans. I'm like, you guys are make are making me embarrassed to like Steven Universe because people are going to immediately be like, oh, you're one of them. Please don't associate me with them. I am not one of them. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, toxic fandoms, super fun. Love that. So great. Yeah. <laughs> also, by the way, Dave Filoni directs several uh Nomen Garden again with the lore. Dave Filoni directs several episodes what? of Avatar the Last Airbender, the animated series as well. So yeah. No way. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of good overlap with uh um with the the theming in the theming and the storytelling in Avatar and the theming and the storytelling in the later seasons of Clone Wars. And absolutely fantastic. 
You know, um, y'all are making a compelling argument, but I think this constitutes peer pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of, speaking of Clone Wars, I am wearing my Ahsoka Tano uh, pajama pants right now. So oh happened. my god, Evelyn just activated like a sleeper agent. She loves Ahsoka. <laughs> like, <laughs> Evelyn is levitating somewhere right now. She's just like, yes. oh. <laughs> and now we and Evelyn are best friends. <laughs> um, oh. Actually, get in line. That's my girl. <laughs> like, watch it. I, I won't. I won't. Square up, Tom. Anyway. <laughs> I love all of you, and I will see y'all next week. And make sure, again, subscribe to What the Fuck Elisa and check out Riss's stuff. Drop some, uh, buy some wonderful art and put it on behind you like I do. I need to hang that somewhere where you can see it better. It's so small, <laughs> though. That's uh, that is one of the pictures that my my child did for me, and it's fantastic. Aww. Size doesn't matter. I can tell you that. With <laughs> oh, I thought you met the cats. <laughs> I love cephalopod art. Uh, and with that, uh, say goodnight, Crystal. Goodnight, Crystal. Good night, everybody.